Given f of x, we want to find the inverse of our function, or f inverse of x, and f inverse of eight. To find the inverse of a function, we want to write the function in terms of x and y, interchange the x and y variables, and then solve for y. To understand why this works, we need to understand that the inverse function undoes the operation of f of x. So for example, if x is the input into our function f, and y is the output, these outputs become the inputs into the inverse function, which return the original value of x. So we can see these two functions undo each other. So to get started, we're first going to write the original function in terms of x and y. f of x equals y, so we would have y equals the quantity x minus one divided by the quantity x minus three, which means our inverse function would be x equals the quantity y minus one divided by the quantity y minus three. Notice how the output of y for f is the input x for the inverse function, and the input of x for f is the output of y for the inverse function. And now we're left to solve this for y and then replace y with inverse function notation. Since the right side is in fraction form, we could put this over one and then cross multiply, x times y minus three must equal one times y minus one, or we could just multiply both sides by the quantity y minus three. Either way, we would have x times the quantity y minus three equals y minus one. Let's go ahead and distribute here. We have x y minus three x equals y minus one. Our goal is to solve this for y, and since there are two terms that contain a factor of y, we need those two terms on the left and all the other terms on the right. Let's start by subtracting y on both sides. That would give us x y minus y minus three x equals negative one. Now let's go ahead and add three x to both sides. That would be x y minus y equals three x minus one. And now to solve this for y, we'll have to factor out the common factor of y, leaving us with a factor of x minus one and now we'll divide both sides by the quantity x minus one. So we have y equals quantity three x minus one divided by the quantity x minus one. This is our inverse function, so we'll replace y with f inverse of x. So we have f inverse of x equals the quantity three x minus one divided by the quantity x minus one. And now that we have the inverse function, we can determine f inverse of eight. F inverse of eight is gonna be equal to three times eight minus one all over eight minus one. 24 minus one is 23, and eight minus one is equal to seven. So f inverse of eight is equal to 23 sevenths. I hope you found this helpful.